Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be explaining of how to make an ultrasonic device or an ultrasonic sound maker. And this ultrasonic sound will be useful to, to be used as pass repellent, mice, bats, or dogs maybe. Because this device or this schematic will produce a very high frequency of sound, ultrasonic sound. So this is the parts to be prepared. There are five 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 or triple five ICs and then one capacitor, the ten nano capacitor. Uh, this is a bipolar or non-polar capacitor, and then one resistor, one potentiometer, and the last will be the piezo electric speaker. Let's start to simulate this schematic. As you may have seen just now, when I drag this potentiometer to lower value, the sound that it, that this schematic produce is getting lower, but otherwise, when the potentiometer is dragged to lower value, the frequency of the sound is getting higher. So, in order to make an ultrasonic sound, which is more than 20 kilohertz, 20,000 hertz, you need to adjust the value of this potentiometer or if you if you're willing to use a fixed resistor you could use 5.k here and of course the value of this resistor will be pulled out by this resistor too technically the lower of this value the higher of this resistor value otherwise the lower of this resistor value the higher of this R1 resistor value. So as a reference uh, to make the ultrasonic sound you could use here 3.3 kilo capacitor I mean 3.3 kilo resistor and this you could use 5.6 kilo resistor or you could use 1 kilo here and this will be 3.3 or 4.7 kilo. In the real device, you might not hear the sound of frequency that produced by this piezoelectric because human cannot hear a sound more than 20 kilohertz. Human can only hear sound from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So technically, this schematic will be good enough to be made as an uh, ultrasonic sound maker but you have to be sure that you are using a good quality of piezoelectric and one thing, if you wonder why this resistor and this RGB lid here because the sound that is produced by this schematic is static it sounds only beep beep like this Yep, no changes statically, beep, beep. But if you're using this, you can make a dynamic sound, which is sound will be like beep, 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 beep something like that. And you just have to connect this resistor to the power line. And the negative line will be connected to pin number 2 and make sure that you are using RGB LED the LED that flashes or blinking by itself I think you know it ok so what else I think that should be enough thank you for watching I hope you like this video see you in the next video and thank you